In this video, we're going to discuss the maximum principle that we have already mentioned before. Let me first state the principle. So let's omega be included in Rd, which is going to be uh, the space domain uh, that will be a bounded regular open set. U0 is the initial condition. F is the right hand side to my PDE that models the heat source. And we will assume two things. The first is that F is non-negative. And the second is that U0 is non-negative. Then the solution to the heat equation, which as you know belongs to that space E that we defined before, is going to have the property to being non-negative almost everywhere. Now, if you think about what it means in terms of modeling, it means that if the initial uh, temperature is non-negative, uh, and if we keep heating the room, that's F, then the temperature will uh, well remain non-negative. So that is really what it means. It, it sounds pretty obvious uh, from a modeling point of view, uh, but uh, what it simply means is that the model completely captures this, uh, this, this phenomenon. Uh, now, I would stay away from laughing too much, saying, well, it was so obvious we did not have to prove it, because, again, this is a model. So it's a good thing that a model captures the situation, but it, is, it was not completely obvious until we had proven it. As a matter of fact, let me give you uh, an example where things don't go so well. Uh, and that is this proposition here, which, uh, well, again, we're going to consider omega including Rd, bounded regular open set. I'm going to consider a, an initial uh, condition U0 and a right hand side F in that space F. I will also consider F to be uh, non negative and U0 to be non negative. And, and, and also not identically equal to zero, okay? So if I look at the solution to my heat equation, here is what I can actually say. For all time epsilon positive, so uh, ju just any time, right? Any time which is not zero. So, so just like, you know, a few, a few milliseconds, a few microseconds after I start the experiment. And for all x in omega, we will have u of epsilon x positive. While at t equals zero, as you could see from the initial condition, uh, what we have is u naught, which could possibly be equal to zero, not identically equal to zero, but it could be equal to zero. Now, what it means is that if f is equal to zero, and u0 is, uh, well, not negative almost everywhere, but not equal to zero everywhere. What we have is uh, that for all t in 0t and for all x in omega, utx is a positive, which means that we have an infinite speed propagation, which obviously is not possible physically. So what we're saying is that some of the physics has been lost in the model. So that's why we're saying for the maximum principle, don't laugh too, too, too much about, you know, I mean, or too hard about, you know, it was so obvious because uh, just because it's obvious from a physical point of view uh, doesn't mean that the model actually has captured that, that physics. So we need to be extremely careful. And as a reminder, a model is a simplification of the world, right? And as a reminder on the reminder, the question, is the model true, is never a good question. And if we had to bring a response to this, well, we know it's not, because it's not reality, so it's not true. I mean, the truth is not, it's not, even, it's not even a relevant uh, predicate here. It just doesn't apply to a model. It's not a good question. The good question is, is the model useful? And of course, uh, that will drastically depend on what is the information I'm trying to capture or restitute uh, in the application that I am considering.